just that was good. Intro. That was better. Just keep dragging. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep talking like like we have something to talk about and right. we sound interesting. Like we sound like people want to tune in. They're like you I'm like, glad I turned this on. Yeah. They're the most interesting people in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I I love their podcast. They're so interesting. They're so talented. Thank you. Pretty to look at. It's great. And they right? can look at us because we're filming it. Cut. Yes, which we filmed it last time. That didn't work. That didn't help. But that things didn't happen. Happen. The focus didn't work. Mm-hmm. The camera stopped recording a billion times. Mm-hmm. But we're here now. We're here. That's all that matters. We're here. We're <laughs> queer. I'm drinking beer. Let's film this podcast. <laughs> Woo! Media jerk off. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Media Jerk Off. Is that did that just ring? That was <laughs> that was awful. so intense. Let's okay. try that again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Media Jerk Off, the Hi. show where media lovers come together and talk talk about media they recently loved and want to passionately yeah, talk about. It's just me and Edward, it's so just don't us. get excited. It's a ton of media lovers. It's just two just media two lovers. It's me. Um, but we talk about uh, media we have passionate thoughts about, and we also have fun conversations related to such occasionally. And I drink alcohol for your enjoyment. <laughs> or mine. My enjoyment. You're and not drinking it. I, I have... No. Yeah, no. Just Are water. you drinking... Yeah, there's wine in this. Oh! Okay. Yeah. What Do you kind? like my mug? What kind of... I don't know. I think it's a rosé uh, that was given to us by a friend at a housewarming party wow. almost six months ago. What and a girl! Finally getting through it now. What a femme! Yeah, that's great. What's your... Uh, uh, mug? My mug, I just bought it because I was like, I need a mug. I do like for it. This podcast, thank mm-hmm. you. It's a Pops uh, Chocolate Shop from uh, Riverdale. It's the diner. Oh my god, blow me with that Riverdale <laughs> bullshit. God damn it. I love Riverdale. Y'all are gonna catch on real quick that I'm obsessed with Riverdale. And have no shame talking about it. Mm. All right. Although cool. you should. Um, so Allison, I totally came up prepared and started filming before I even started pulling up my notes. <gasps> you? Um, <laughs> me? Unprepared? What? No, but I'm really surprised because you're never Oh, unprepared. no, I know. I, yeah, I was too excited. Yeah, oh, so okay. Too excited. All right, all right, all right. Um, before we get into it, uh, because this is our first official episode, <laughs> our episode, if you caught it on YouTube and uh, SoundCloud, I'm said Spotify, we are not on Spotify, <laughs> uh, YouTube and SoundCloud for now, we're starting baby steps before we go anywhere else Mm -hmm. um yeah you guys caught that that was our kind of like preview test episode Mm -hmm. we had the idea of like (laughs) i don't even know if i should say like it was possibly going to be our first episode and then like in case it went bad and not bad it wasn't bad but it was definitely like the microphone was just like we learned a lot and it's like we already upgraded the mic which i'm like (laughs) gesturing like they saw it like that's in the footage from last time look Uh, at this mic look at this mic (laughs) um yeah shout out a quick shout out i wasn't sure what to give at the end or the beginning but shout out to katie may weber a very good friend of the show um a friend we went to college with who has a podcast of her own that without realizing it um or whether she likes it or not she has adopted us under her, taking us under her little podcast mother I love how you like, scooped me up, but like, you definitely did not That was her, it. it was a representation of like, I don't oh, know. It was like, I mean, she you could have scooped us. You could have put your arm but around But I'm not me. scooping you, she scooped us. Okay, sure. Um, Katie May is um, one of the hosts, or I guess, no, because I guess they're all kind of hosts, because they're all part of it, oh, of uh, Dungeons, Dice, and Everything Nice, which is a podcast that is on a lot more places uh, than where ours is. Um, iTunes. I think they're on SoundCloud. I don't know if they're on SoundCloud. This is a bad promo for Dungeons Dice and Everything Nice. But it's a really great podcast. It's a bunch of our friends we went to college with playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. It's all female. It's very empowering. Have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? I did twice. Wow. It's a good time. So we have a professional over here. Um, Maybe we could start playing Dungeons and Dragons. I thought, wouldn't it be really cool if one week, like in the future, or you're just saying in general, Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, I totally play it. I really do want to play it. It's been a long time. Um, mm-hmm. One of my roommates was recently playing and talking about how exciting it was to really be into it. Um, I'm excited. And I'm like, I haven't played in so long. And the one time I did play wasn't that, like, great. Uh, that I, like, it makes me want more. No, I'm so excited to play uh, because when I was a child, I liked to pretend I was an elf. And I think oh. I'd be a really good um, elf. 
It's definitely for people with a very broad imagination who are comfortable sharing their imagination, I would say. It's yeah. a good time. It's really cool. I think I still have the costume. It's like, like I get it, guys. Like, Dungeons and Dragons, like, people are like, oh, only the nerds play that. And, like, only the losers. And I'm like, you're just jealous that, like, people are having fun. <laughs> yeah, so? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, in this day and age, I need as much as I can to escape from reality. <laughs> Cheers! <so. laughs> uh, but, yes, go check out Dungeons Dice. Dungeons, Dice, and Everything Nice. Um, they're super great. They're super cool. I've been catching up on episodes this week, and it's just such a fun time. Just a pleasant experience all around. It's a bunch of great gals doing great things. Gals. Bunch of gals. 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 2018. <laughs> Time's up. The, hashtag, the women are taking over. The hashtag's back. Bless. 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 Um, Took a bed, chose a bedtime to take a second. Yeah, that was like <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Dead silent. I feel weird now. Um, so a quick explanation if you guys did not check out our preview episode. Um, the purpose of the show, well, I won't get into it all. If you want the full backstory and all of the real reasons why, go watch that. We'll link it down below mm-hmm. um, if you're watching on YouTube. Um, yeah, so basically Media Jerk Off. Every week we're going to come together. We're going to talk about something we recently consumed. Uh, we have passionate thoughts about it. We may have loved it. We may have hated it. Um, we're jerking off to it. So I'm jerking off to we're it. Jerking off to the medias. Um, yeah. So. Um, what do you have? What do you have? What have topic? you been jerking yeah, off cool. to what this have I week? Been <laughs> feeling up to. Um, so I wanted to talk about my topic this week. Yes. I want to talk about a little show that I loved or once loved. Um, oh no, scandal! Drama. So it's not Riverdale. We it's can not, check that oh, off Riverdale, the list. I, it's Riverdale's gonna like Riverdale's that like I hate saying it. Riverdale is that one show that's like bad, but you love it because it's like a CW teen drama. Yeah. Like, you know what you're getting into when you turn on Riverdale. No, I know. Um, I know. So like, like they have to do something really bad to like make me really hate it. Right. Um, and they, there's been a few little things where I'm like, mm, writers. Yeah, kind of like doing, uh, like Supergirl. How yeah, it's CW. awful all the time. Like, yeah. it couldn't get any worse. No, correct. That's, that's for another time. But another another day, but yeah. anyways, no. So I want to talk about Shameless. Yeah. Um, Shameless is a show that's been airing on Showtime. I think they, they just wrapped season eight. It's been airing since 2011. Since 2011. Um, 2011. Season eight. Um, yeah, and so they just wrapped season eight it has been airing since 2011 season 8 it has been yeah and so shameless was one of those shows that was, like, because it was on Showtime, it's really unfortunate that, like, Showtime doesn't get, or I find the programming on Showtime doesn't get a ton of attention. Like, a lot of people, like, if you're going to choose one of the premium services of HBO or Showtime, most go with HBO, mm-hmm. which I get, um, just because they have a broader range of content. Yeah. Um, so, Shameless, I've been watching since the pilot aired, been watching it live, was not one of these Netflix bandwagoners. Like uh, me. <laughs> Wait, really? I've you never seen it. I was going to say. I've, I've seen the first, like, four episodes, I think. Oh, okay, cool. I tried. I so tried to get in it. That's good. It's fair. Which is, you followed the rule. I always tell people, if you're going to watch a new show, you can't judge it or give up on it until you've watched the first four. Because I feel like after oh. episode four, if you're not into it, then you're not into it. I and was. I won't. I was not into it. Yeah. But uh, Joan Cusack's in it. And that's oh, that's right. all I've learned. That's she what I gained from it. it. <gasps> I know. Um, so anyways, so the reason I want to talk about Shameless mm-hmm. is because as a person who once loved the show, like I used to tell people when it was like, what's your favorite show? And I that's like, like Shameless. White, that's like what you were, we used to be roommates. And that's like all he would I love. was so passionate about Shameless, He guys. loved like, Shameless. Like super passionate. Um, I love it. It has great talent. Um, it used to have great storylines. Um, it takes place in Chicago. So it's just like that like home turf vibe felt mm-hmm. really cool mm-hmm. um, being able to identify the backdrops I was an extra in a few episodes you were um, not I was I say a few it was like one episode I call bullshit um, yeah, I'm super tiny in the background of one of them but I promise I am there mm-hmm. um, yeah um, but the reason I want to bring it up for my topic is because I think it's been running way too long far oh, too long oh no and here's the thing mm. so like not saying Shameless was ever perfect, but it definitely had a plot line that you could follow. The characters would develop. Um, it just was fun to watch. It was a fun experience. That's why you watch Shameless. It was deep storylines with a very comedic filter. Um, the sure. issue was Shameless, being a Showtime show, which is one thing Showtime can't seem to get right, at least in my opinion. Or any American television. That's true. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> but Showtime, like, I can't think of one Showtime show, unless it was canceled prematurely, mm-hmm. that, like, if it, God forbid it showed any success, Showtime would not kill it. And, um... I mean, is, but if you think about it, like, again, like you said before, people choose HBO over short Showtime which, all the time. So I get it, yes. Like, in the Showtime aspect of, like, they're like, this is one good thing that's coming for yeah, us and yeah. getting us views, we're not going to drop it. Yeah. And I get that from a corporate standpoint. From a artistic standpoint of, like, creating your art, mm-hmm. I think it's way too much. And the issue... The, the reason I'm saying all this is so... Season 8 just ended. The finale aired last Sunday. Right. Um, and my roommate Johnny and I, uh, we watched each episode this season because uh, we were both fans watching since the beginning. And literally it ended and Johnny looked at me and she said, so this season progressed the story by nothing. Oh, no. Like, literally, if you looked at each character's role, I mean, so there were oh, little developments awful. and whatnot, but there was nothing major that was like, wow, I'm going to think of season eight as the year that Fiona did this, as the year William H. Macy's Frank did this, the year this happened, the year this happened. And there were some, like, cliffhangers of, like, where we're going to go, but it's like, last season, season seven, which was awkwardly thrown in, like, they aired two seasons last year. They had, like, their usual January season air, and then they're like, oh, wait, we're having another season in fall. And you're oh, like, they're weird. canceling it. How'd it's going to go? end. And it's like, the way they did it, it wrapped it up. Like, it was like, everyone was kind of in a place where it was like, like, it could, I guess, still go. It should not have kept going. But it was definitely in a place where it was like, okay, like, we know where everyone is. It's really sad for some characters. It's mm-hmm. good for others. Everyone's mm-hmm. found their place. Or, mm-hmm. like, they've reached their end goal. Right. For the most part. And then, all of a sudden, what I think, in my opinion, I've never found any articles, but I've been telling people my thoughts are, is Shameless was uploaded to Netflix last summer. hmm And because of that, it seemed to suddenly blow up. Which, as a fan yes. of Shameless, who was preaching about everyone needs to watch the show because it was so good... I love it. Like, I love that it's finally getting the attention it deserves. However, because of that attention, I believe that's what gave them two more seasons. Like, I think they're renewed through season 10 now. Or it's almost three more seasons. Showtime, what are you doing? It's just like. (sighs) Like, to watch a show, it's. Because to me, it's like, I will always. There's. Shameless will always be a place in my heart. It's one of those shows that, like, gave me the interest of wanting to pursue a career in television. Um, for the stories it's able to tell, the characters it was able to create, mm-hmm. but it just it just it hurts it. you yeah. when something you love so much, God forbid, it goes one extra season, it kills it. Like it, it's like everything you've worked towards making it so great, you're just like, wow, this sucks. Yep, you threw and everything so you irritating. made down the toilet. It's so frustrating, um, and so Shameless needs to end. <laughs> That's my opinion. Dear Showtime, please kill As Shameless. As someone who has been watching it since the pilot aired in 2011, I was a junior. I think it was 2011. I was a junior in high school when it aired. Oh wow! I know. Um, it's time to go. Like it's one of those where it's like it's so good ended on a high note. Don't kill these characters. And Joe Cusack's not even in it Joe's anymore. Joe's not even there anymore. Spoiler alert! Any but of the like, great female characters are all gone, minus um, Emmy Rossum's Fiona Gallagher, who is the main female lead that's been there since the beginning. But it's still just like they get all these great actresses to play characters and then they get them to leave. But is she really that great? Emmy Rossum? Yeah. I've loved Emmy Rossum. I mean, I, I know so. I know you <laughs> love her. She is really as a good person. as a as a very uh, South Side Chicagoan woman. Okay. Raising all of her siblings and okay. having that passion and that fire under her. Mm-hmm. I think she gets it. Yeah, she's Do you do cool. you remember which episode you were in? That you were an extra I can't for? tell you the exact number. I want to say it was like... How? I if you were know. an extra on your favorite show, how wow, do you not now remember? I don't remember. It's one wow. of the early episodes of like season five or six. Season it's five or six. Together. See, here's the thing. Shameless was good up to season like uh, five, I would say. Like right. four got hit a lot, got became a huge drama. Mm-hmm. And then five started to like round that up and it started to get a little more like back to its like roots of being like a fine comedy whatever mm-hmm. and then like around six it starts to be like what are you doing and then like seven was like "Ooh, we didn't need this and then they had eight and you're like why is this still on and then knowing that we're coming back next year i'm like why what are we doing you know so like after four and five it's kind of like everything's just kind of been like the chunk after fiona went to jail like, Spoiler alert, Fiona went to jail. Season four has been out for a long time. If you're, I'm like, I'm not saying spoilers from this past season, but like. 
You know what I admire about you, Edward? What do you admire about me? Is that you can remember what happens in every single season. See, to me, a show just runs this long blur. And if you ask me what happened in, like, season seven of The Office, a show... Wait, it had seven seasons, right? Of what? Of... Shameless? No, The Office. Oh, The Office. Sorry. Which is another another show that should have been killed way earlier before it did. Wow. Um, But... Like if you ask me to say what happened, I have I have no idea. I don't know what happens in each season. Yeah, no, I get that. No, I don't know. See, I feel like uh, maybe it's with comedies I could get that. Like if you were just to ask me like what happened in Parks and Rec season two, I couldn't tell you. Um, versus mm-hmm. season three, Ben Wyatt's introduced in season two. That's where they brought in new characters. Oh wow! But like bad example. But like <laughs> with dramas, you know. it's very like there's usually very defining moments. Like if you ask me Game of Thrones, I could probably give you a cliff notes of what happened every season of Game of Thrones. But we won't open that can of worms right now. <laughs> Oh, no, that sounds intense. Um, I don't know if I'm ready. I'm two beers deep. Like I Game can't of Thrones will come up at some function. point, uh, but I will not bring that up right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because then this podcast will go from an hour to being like seven hours. <laughs> like yeah. An hour for each season we've had so far. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but so you already brought it up with The Office, so I kind of wanted to then expand this topic of shows that we think um, ran too long, shows that didn't need to run so long. Shows that, especially now in a, in a time of TV revivals and a lot of stuff coming back. TV revivals. Ugh. Because Netflix, as beautiful as it is, as beautiful as uh, watching uh, your old uh, favorites in the comfort of your own home uh-huh. is, uh, they seem to want to do like these revivals. Uh, yeah. Netflix originals. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, please. Uh-huh. <laughs> like... Uh, well, okay. do you do you have some the listed? You so I don't have any actual shows listed. It's just these are my question marks. Oh. You, do you want to bring up the one we briefly talked yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. So like, okay, yeah. so Fuller House. Fuller House. Okay, like, no, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get upset. You go, keep talking. So here's the thing, like, and I know, like, Full House. To me, I was, I admit, like I will say right up front, I was not a person, I have not seen every episode of Full House. I've seen episodes of Full House, have not seen, I was not one of those Full Housers. Do they have a name? Do they have a fan name? Stop, stop. Okay, people, <laughs> fandoms and having names, like, too Fullers, much. I can't. I am Fuller. God, um, I No, hate it. but so, like, to me, that show represents so much of, like, to a lot of my friends who watched it growing up, that's a piece of their childhood. It's nostalgia. And I can understand of like the appeal of like let's bring a show back yeah. that we know will resonate with people because they grew up with it. Yeah, everybody wanted to be uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Everybody. It just like happened. Like if you grew up in the span of nineteen ninety, wow, I don't know when they were famous. Uh, to uh, yeah. now, I mean Fuller House. I'm right. sure. Oh, they they weren't in it. Um. Um, keep talking. I no, backed myself into a corner. <laughs> no, you're good. But so it's just like, why bring something back that was fine? Like, you can go back and watch old episodes. It's not like it was gone forever. Like, it airs on Nickelodeon every single freaking night that, like, you don't need to bring back a show that was fine. It was fine. And it's like, it's like the, the newer episodes of Fuller House, like, were... Spoiler alert, they were not good. No. They had poor plot lines. Very poor. They did not have all the characters. They didn't even have all the characters. How can you bring back a show when you don't have Michelle? And, and to me, that was like desperation. Like, that showed, like, we don't care. We're just going to do it anyways because people want Fuller House. And, like, Netflix I can... Like, we want Fuller House. I mean, I can relate. I have half, half-assed uh, many... Uh, Many a project in my life, but Fuller House is one of those things where you have such a fan base. Mm-hmm. It's like, what are you looking at? Sorry, people are texting me. We oh. have plans after this tonight. People are all panicking, mm. but it's fine. Um, cheers. Cheers. Panicking. Panic. 2018, it's, the year of panic. Yeah. It's like it's a still net, happening. Guys. It's like Netflix when they try to do Fuller House. Panic. Cheers. Panic. Cheers to panic. Yeah. Um, but no, so yeah, Fuller House is one that comes to mind. There are some revivals that I'm like, like I admit, like I was a big fan of like Girl Meets World, which like didn't necessarily need to exist because it was Boy Meets World, right? But oh, it okay. was on Disney Channel, mm-hmm. so it had a lot of filters. So I can understand like, yeah, that didn't necessarily need to come back either. Um, or, um, isn't there going to be a Friends revival? 
Is no. that just a rumor? I think that's a bad fake trailer that's browsing, like, appearing up all over Facebook. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. Because I know, like, a lot of them are that's still it. tight and they're friends. I feel like it's something that, like, any company would leap at if they could get that. Right. But I think getting all six of them to commit to a Friends revival is hard. Because I remember watching the trailer for the new Friends movie yeah, that's what fake. it was the friends all those movie. clips i love that like i saw my cousin share that and it was like i was like oh honey like all of them was like it was like courtney cox's clips from like cougar town jennifer aniston's oh. clips from movies half of um i can't recall her name she was just fine grace and frankie the one that plays phoebe was like her clips from all her showtime shows and right. hbo shows she was in i was like nope 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 old clips guys old clips oh, just being rehashed okay. into like a fan-made trailer well, don't give into it it definitely uh, it looked real it looked real it they Confused me because the trailer gave nothing to what the the plot line would be. It gave no. nothing about that what the too. movie I was like, would be. If you looked at like what the actual plot of the movie is, you're not going to get anything. Um, but yeah, um, some other honorable mentions I did definitely think of, which again gives into the freaking I call it the Showtime curse. It's like all the shows. Showtime curse. I like it. Suck. Because I hope if I write a show, Showtime picks it up <laughs> so and it lives forever. on forever. <laughs> Um, Dexter. Me. I did not watch Dexter, but apparently everyone was like, why did it end this way? Did you way? not watch Dexter? Not yet. It's on my queue on who, Netflix, but I never watched it. Who binged it and was like so into it? That was Rachel. Oh, was it? Oh, it, it was. That was our that our old roommate, our Rachel. Old roommate. Fucking loves so Dexter. How you doing, girl? Um, no, that was when like, I turned on Dexter in season six. I turned it on because it was while I was watching Shameless, they had commercials for Dexter. And uh-huh. I was like, oh, this looks cool. And apparently the one season you should not drop in on because it was like a big, heavy, spoilery stuff was happening. And I was like, I don't get this. Why are all these people dying? And, oh. like, <laughs> and all my oh, friends no. were like, you can't just join in <laughs> then. And I was like, the commercial looks cool. <laughs> Jesus. Um, oh, you like you were a fan of uh, Nurse Jackie. Nurse Jackie. Oh, how'd that, how'd Jackie. that do? I think Nurse Jackie was okay. Okay. Because that was one of those Showtime. I think it was unfortunate because it just like didn't do well. It's like if the show doesn't do well, Shameless or Shameless Showtime kills it. But God forbid it gets like more than ten views. Showtime's like keep it going, y'all. Keep Ooh, it up. Production's going. Shade. Um. So like Nurse Jackie, I think if I want it, I want to see only has like five seasons. It has a few. It doesn't mm-hmm. have that many seasons. Mm-hmm. Like that was good. Okay. Um. All the right. big C on Showtime. That was good. It unfortunately got cut after three seasons because not enough people were watching it. Mm-hmm. But, like, they gave it a, like, final fourth season to kind of wrap everything up, and it was perfect. Like, it was like, that's what makes good, I mean, to me, what makes good TV. Like, it, it, there could be arguments of, like, what makes good TV is how long is it on, how long is it going to entertain me, mm-hmm. versus, like, to me, good TV is a story has a good A, or a beginning, middle, and end, and then that's it. Like, Orphan Black. Orphan it Black. It began. Oh my god. It was god. a middle. Orphan Black will have its own topic at some point oh on this show. Ooh, enough. <laughs> but like, Orphan Black, it was a show on BBC. God bless Tatiana Maslany for playing. Near, literally, the whole show is one actress basically playing everyone, and it's so good. Like, um, I want to cry just thinking like, about so it. So good. But the writers, like, which apparently I've heard, I remember it was being a big buzz with BBC when they announced that Orphan Black would be ending after season four. People were like, no, BBC is good about communicating with the writers and the showrunners. And one of the showrunners says, this is it. Like, we know where it's ending. We're getting there. We're not dragging it out. Then they To me, that's like, I respect you. That's what's, that's because, what should happen. Uh, like, I don't care if you're, I get it. Again, from a corporate standpoint, I understand mm-hmm. the, like, feelings of, like, we want people to keep tuning into our network and watching our programming. But at the same time, I'm like... And there's new talent. Good programming. Yeah, you want good programming. There's new talent out there. I mean, <laughs> look at us, uh, geniuses. Hire us, Hollywood. Buy our show. <laughs> we'll give you a great five seasons at the least. Probably, you know what? My show that I'm writing that um, hypothetically yep. could go on for at least twelve seasons. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, see that being said, there are shows that I think are okay running long, like. Um, I know, like, Always Sunny in Philadelphia has been running for over 10, and it's still it's going. It's still going? It is still, to my understanding, it is still going. And to me, like, that show, oh. which someone said, like, even though it is live action, it's, like, any sort of animation, like, The Simpsons has been on for decades. Oh, 
that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but has it been decades? Oh, decades is the correct Yes, uh, but they had it like 20, right? 20 plus years. Right? Which yeah. is insane. And like, so like, depending on the art form and the, like, I guess like comedy is easier to extend because you can, like, comedy is based on a lot of real world events and as the world changes you can easily adapt those yeah, stories yeah and it's definitely uh it's episodic right more so yeah i don't yes yeah totally like i mean can it can't be in. it can't be it can't there's some stuff that continues on but you can easily jump in at any point right, right. and understand who the characters are what the plot line is and still have a good time um yeah is grew shows that run but i thought the simpsons were, were ending was that not a thing oh is it I don't know. I feel like the world would... I don't watch The Simpsons. I played all The Simpsons video what? games because they were really fun, but I've never, What? I've seen very few episodes Did of The Did you have a childhood, sir? No. Please I, tell me. I grew me. up in a household that was not a Simpsons household, I guess. Ah! ah! Um, one of the pop finals fell. I guess never we didn't introduce about them this week. We, we will. We'll we introduce will. them yeah, we in between will. before yeah. we go to the break mm-hmm. or switch over to the next topic. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. What else? What other shows have gone too long? I'm trying to think. Leave in the comments below. Yeah, if you guys have any shows. shows, That's the thing we totally didn't mention in our first episode. At any point, if you guys have any thoughts, we really want to hear them. Um, And let us know in the comments. I mean, I don't. I don't. Edward wants to. I want to hear all of your thoughts. Because, hey, if your thought's good enough, maybe we'll share it in a future episode. But probably not, because your thoughts are not better than ours. She's not wrong. But I will respect them. Cheers! And I'll read them off. Respect to our audience. Cheers to respect. Yes. Yes. Wow. We suck. All of our viewers just it's canceled. <laughs> they all just left. They heard cheers to respect and they were like, all My right. My mom literally was like, I can't anymore. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So, I don't know. Shameless, please end. I know you're renewed for like at least one or at least one more. I have oh, that too. What, I need to talk about Buffy thoughts? the Vampire Slayer before go we go. Buffy, before we wrap up this topic, it yeah. needed to end. It needed to end when they were going to end it. Um, season five, when spoiler alert, Buffy dies. Oh shit. And then they were, like, renewed for another two seasons, and then they brought Buffy back. And I was like, all right, I know this is a fantasy show, but that is unrealistic. <laughs> um, however, um, I, I, I do... I, I have to uh, say that the, the, the ending, the second time they ended it, season seven, uh, was way better than the first time they ended it, oh, really? season five. Which my good friend Michaela pointed out to me. Oh, yes. Nice. However, the season in between, season six, I honestly I had a mental breakdown. Oh. Uh, oh no. Grew to love the characters and. Oh, and then they. They shit all over it. They kill them all. Oh. So I guess before I end this, my final right. my yeah. final say, I just want to say, Hollywood. Okay. Look at me, because I know all of Hollywood is listening. Look at him. I'm drinking. Go look at him. What makes good TV? You know, you may be into your viewers. You may be into how many people are buying and paying for your network. But you want to know what's really important at the end of the day? What's well, important, Edward? What makes your network memorable? It's strong characters, strong storylines that end when they're supposed to end. Don't drag them out just because you want views. Because then everyone's going to stop tuning in. And that makes bad TV. And stop changing the the title music. The title <laughs> sequence. I hate when they do that. I always think it's really cool. I was like, ooh, new theme. Okay, well, <laughs> never mind then. Uh, I don't like change. Uh, All right. Uh, 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 All right. Cool. All right, we'll see. Uh, wait, we have to do the like. We're changing over to this. We're changing over to the next topic. You're, there's going to be a really quick we'll, cut. We're not sure about what we're doing for transition. We'll see you high. I but mean, see you in the point two seconds when there's a new topic. Ah! All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. No, we can't start it like the same way we started our first <laughs> segment. We can't just be like, all right, all right, all right. Um, Unless we make it a thing, that's going to be our thing. Wow, so we realized, guys, just now as I was reviewing, like we took that quick break and I was like, wait, we didn't say our names. Uh, and I mean, there should be lower thirds on the video form. There's lower <gasps> thirds that do exist for that's, the video version. That's so exciting. But other than that, audio listeners, we are so sorry. You have no idea who we are. I don't know who I am. Hi. So, so my name is Edward Zorich, one of your hosts, and I am joined by the loveliest co-host of all time, uh, Allison Cost. Allison Cost.
us. Allison Koss. That's me. And we are here hosting Media Jerk Up. Wow, we <laughs> very suck poorly. this host. Very poorly. It only <laughs> took 30 minutes <laughs> to introduce ourselves. But we didn't even introduce our pops. And we also, yes, we so in our preview episode, we were like, we're going to have new pop vinyls every week and we're going to introduce them. What are pop vinyls, Edward? Pop vinyls are an addiction. <laughs> oh, He's not wrong. Um, I have too many. Sorry, Mom and Dad. They're not action, or they're not dolls. They're action My dad figures. goes, what are you doing with all these toys? And I go, it could be drugs. It could be drugs, Dad. It could be drugs. Oh, my God. You're so right. <gasps> oh. <Huey>. Whoa. <laughs> they are drugs, though, is what yeah. his father doesn't know. They're my drug, and they're not harming me physically. Anyway, so what pop vinyls are? are these, so today's uh, pop, vinyl repre- oh. pop vinyl representation. No, I have to tell them what they are. They, you didn't even tell them what they are. No, so let's say today's pop vinyl representation. Oh, oh. Dot, what? dot, dot. Now it's your turn to talk. So pop, what, what pop vinyls are, um, they're oh, basically, they are. yeah, because you didn't, oh, if, if I was a person, like, honestly, if I didn't know you, I would not know what pop vinyls A lot vinyls of people are. don't. They go, oh, the, what, are, what? What are pop vinyls? they go, those weird big eye doll things? Yeah, big eye doll things. Um, so they go, they're collectibles. Oh, they're not oh, dolls. All right, all right, dear. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, what pop vinyls are, are uh, basically your father's action figures, but like modernized. So, they're, so they're they're just like uh, popular icons. In- it's very cool. They're iconic figurines based on a lot of famous things in pop culture. And that's yeah. why I love them. As a media, media lover, I media. love media I love that media figurines <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah all right so what we have uh Today's here representations this are, one uh i picked out uh this one is tommy pickles uh tommy pickles from rugrats yeah i relate to him he's super cute oh, can you see it be can careful you see? with the focus <laughs> oh, oh 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 can you see yes is it I focus? think it's yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, good. Tommy Pickles, because I believe that when I sing, I sound like Tommy Pickles. Low key or high key. Either one works, but yeah. Yeah. He's cutie. Um, our second pop vinyl in the middle is um, our favorite or some... I really hate her, but I don't know why you would hate her. Yeah, why do you uh, hate from her? From The Last Jedi, we have Laura Dern's character. Look at her! She's uh, a bomb! She's a bobblehead. She's a queen. Uh, we love Space Dern. Space Dern had one of the coolest scenes, coolest shots in the entire movie. Laura Dern. Uh, which, I mean, doesn't say too much because a lot of people have pretty negative thoughts about The Last Jedi. Um, <gasps> but we won't open that can of worms. Um, oh, my God. I didn't know that. I don't watch them. Oh, honey. Wow. Ooh, that is another future topic. Can I even say um, that? Can I say I love media if I'm like... I don't know Star Wars. Because, but you watch other media, so you're fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to other media. media. Media, are you a stand for media? We don't know. Who cares? All um, right, third one. And then our third and final one is... Pennywise, uh, bitch. Pennywise the Clown from the the version, because there are two Pennywise. There's OG Pennywise pop vinyl, and then the, I have the uh, new Pennywise pop he's vinyl. He's so icky um, looking. From wow. the... Um, Theatrical release of um, it. The, n- the new release, both were the new release from we're last. Both, oh wait, <gasps> one wasn't released in theaters. People always confuse that and say like, "Oh my god, like this is a remake of the movie," and I'm like, "Wrong." The original it was a TV special. TV movie special, TV yeah. TV miniseries. Uh, which I, n- I never realized how long it was until. So that's why people are like, "Why is it four freaking hours long?" Or however long it is. I never knew. Uh, it aired on television. But like, time seems to just pass me by. So uh, <laughs> I would tell I would tell my friends, <laughs> watch <laughs> it, watch it, and they'd be like, it's watch literally it. watch, and like, watch it. what? And I'm like it, and they're like what? And I'm like it. <laughs> but no, that That's before. so funny. Uh, you're <laughs> a comedian. We should switch this to uh, a comedy podcast. Wow. No, we're not. <laughs> okay. All right. So Allison. Me! What media have you consumed this week? Okay, so... I'm a big fan of finding new YouTube talent. uh, Mm -hmm. Because uh, what Edward has shown me, and I don't watch at all, kind of disappoints me and kind of makes me want to uh, burn YouTube to the ground. Which is a bunch of, like, uh, vloggers. That's what's yeah. popular now. That's uh, LA that is vloggers. what YouTube has turned into. The, as I discussed in the preview episode, is YouTube has phases, and I feel like every year can mm-hmm. be defined by like what are people doing on YouTube? What are the popular YouTubers? Mm-hmm. And right now, we are definitely in the like 
everyone is a vlogger, but then also, like, the vlogs are, like, awkwardly scripted or there's yeah. weird bad pranks. And it, yes, it dis- I love it, but... Yeah, I mean, to each their own, but yeah. it disgusts me because I grew up with the, well... Uh, but no, that's so true. We grew up with the YouTube... I mean, there was always vloggers. Vloggers have always existed. Right. But there were also the people of YouTube that used it as their own platform to release scripted, com- comedic... And that's what, that's what I'm always drawn yeah. to, is just the scripted, just like, or yeah. even even the people who just sit down with the camera and just like right. talk, just like ramble on. Story times. Story times. Exactly. Yeah. I love those. Yeah. Um, but I recently, mm-hmm. by recently, like a month ago, I yeah. uh, found this YouTuber named Amelia Fart. Oh, bless. I, I'd like to uh, take credit and say that I just found her on a whim, but... I, it was recommended. She was recommended. Um, Amelia Fart is this Canadian uh, YouTuber who she has like a, a unique style. I just found out she was Canadian today when I was reading into her, and I was like, "Oh, she's even better now." Yeah, right. Like she's so good. <laughs> I think she mentions it in some of her like videos. I've only seen Canadian. a few. I'm not a stan for Amelia Fart yet. I. I say that and like I can't speak. I don't know enough about her. No, I just in certain areas. She's she's definitely one of my um idols. Now I try to I strive to be like her. She's uh <laughs> uh she wears a, a sheet. Did you know that her dress, her That's little cloak beautiful. says she she makes her own clothing. Uh yeah. she she takes a sheet of uh of I don't know cotton fabric. Yeah, and just folds it in half. My favorite thing it. is she does the thing, at least with all of her looks mm-hmm. of her. Uh, wait, wait, what? It's a curtain. Wait, what'd you say? Her. It's just like a sheet cloth, of fabric. The sheet of fabric. The sheet of fabric. The moo. It's always just like this. Like it's on her chin. Like it covers her listeners, chin. Listeners, I'm literally pulling my t-shirt up to just cover my chin, and I'm like me laying on the couch when I know I'm showing a double chin, and I like I'm self conscious about it. And so that's like, what she says. She says she does that because. Bitch, you can't see her double chin. And I identify. It's, like, it's so... I'm like, yes, I'm going to be a fart. It's like, why, why isn't all clothes like it's that? It's so good. Um, sorry, did I cut oh, you off? No. I mean, I was just going to say, she's <laughs> gaining... She's starting to gain popularity. Which, uh, she deserves it. Um, Yes, because she's very wise. Not only is she, like, hilarious, and she so speaks funny. the truth. She, like, has lived a thousand yeah. years. And she's kind of been through a lot of shit. In a, a lot of her videos, she talks about um, some uh, um, assault, uh, physical abuse, mental abuse, and uh, that she's been through. I uh, The first video that I have watched of hers was mm-hmm. called uh, it was something like talking about past drug experiences in a drugstore. Wow. And Boy, that girl has done some some shit. She has seen some shit. Mm-hmm. And she openly talks about her issues, I guess. Yeah. And it's just like in the, like sometimes she like she mixes comedy with like being fucking real down to earth. And it's like something I just want to be. Mm-hmm. And she has like um I think like 140 plus subscribers. So she's thousand, like 140,000. I was gonna say, I am, yes, yes, she, yes, yes, yes. Um, so she's on her way up, and yeah. one of her big things uh, that people like discover her by is mm-hmm. uh, she loves Trisha Paytas. Yes, uh, Trisha Paytas, another YouTuber. So who's uh, who's Trisha Paytas? Because Edward has more uh, more knowledge. Before about moving Trisha into Paytas. Trisha Paytas, oh, okay. I do want to say my thoughts on Amelia Fart. Oh, of course. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have so many. So <laughs> Amelia Fart is it's like she's a character. Where she is very just like, she reminds, it sounds so weird to be like, she's Shakespearean, the way she talks. Oh my gosh, she so is. I, the she's first a video, modern day Shakespeare. She is. <gasps> the first video <laughs> Allison <laughs> ever sent to, uh, of Amelia Fart to me where she was like, look at this. Um, and it was her getting ready for a party or something. Was the Whatever the yes. name of the video. <gasps> yes! And the whole video is her in the shower <laughs> getting ready. And so, like, literally the entire... And it was a long... I want to say it was, like, 8 to 10 minutes long. Yes. And it is her, like, putting makeup on. And by makeup, I mean literally, like, Hershey chocolate bar. She, like, melts Hershey chocolate. She melts Hershey and she's, like, rubbing it. And it was, like, mint. So she's like, ah, oh, it's green. Look at my eyeshadow as I place it above my eyelid. And she's, it's like... It's not that creepy. Oh, my God. <laughs> but and that was more... I was trying not to be creepy, more just dramatic. And oh, like, okay. Oh, Shakespearean. Mood. Right. Shakespearean. Right, right, right. Um, but granted, like I said, she is in the shower that is running. So the entire time she's applying makeup there's just water running at her and she's fully clothed she's in her cloth 
Um, and it's what? crazy. And I was like, what is this? But I was, you I was, don't like, lose interest. I, like, you no, want to watch I the I watched whole thing. the entire video, guys. I watched the entire video. And so I showed it to my roommate, and my roommate was like, what? And I was like, I don't know. But again, I watched the entire video with my roommate. And it was one particular video that I ended up... I watched a few others. Okay. But the one video that really was like, I love this. I love her. Was what you kind of got into where it's like, it's her. Like, it is. And it's not... So, like, uh, one of the themes that we talked about, there's vloggers. There's story timers. There's... Um, uh, just challenges. There's oh, the yeah. actual scripted stuff people make, but mm-hmm. like one of the big other YouTube themes is like characters. Like mm-hmm. there was like Miranda sings Miranda. is like a big character. Like mm-hmm. Fred was a big character growing up, where people portray a character on YouTube and they don't say they're portraying a character. That it's like when it first blows up, people in the comments are like, "Is this a real person? Oh, is this pretending to watch Boxy? Boxy, ooh, big. You don't iconic. don't forget about Boxy. Boxy's man. like the OG. Yes. Um. So Amelia Fart, especially with that type of name, everyone's like. What is this? Is it a character? And it very is obviously a character mm-hmm. um, in a way. But there's one video where uh, it is like her confronting that. Where I guess everyone in the comment section was like, what is it? Is this a character? Is this fake? I can't tell. And she gets really real about it, which you described. Where she talks about in some of the videos where she like hits on certain subjects. And she talks about where it's like, yes, it's a character. But it's her just being herself. Right. Unfiltered. And being able to just, like, like out in public, she has to put on a filter of someone who she isn't and pretend to be someone just to, like, fit into the public and not be judged and bullied. But then when she's home, she can be this, like, crazy weird portrayal of a queen, a Shakespearean queen yeah. who just rubs chocolate on her face and eats everything she wants to. An icon. She calls herself an icon. She's an icon. Everything she does is iconic. And it's and so good. It's true. And it's, like, it's true. Listening to that, it was, like, not even just, like... It made because I appreciated all the content I had seen up to that point. Just being like, you know, you're so talented and you're just funny. Like you're just fun to watch. She's hilarious. But like that one video, just in the one statement of her being like, "This is who I am." Like you can make fun of me all you want, but this is my inner person coming out. It's be, it's me being able to represent and show off who I am on the inside and all my inner thoughts with no filter. It was just like, yes. Like Amelia Fart, like Amelia Fart, like it, it, it was in that moment it was me where I was like, because yes, it's a character, it's a facade, it's comedic, it's funny, but like, it kind of gave you the idea, of just like, just be yourself and be proud of who you are, even if it's not all the time. Even though I think um, the world would be a much better place if everyone wasn't hiding behind so many walls and characters and layers. Yeah, but, but how it's is- just like mm-hmm. let loose and just like, like to me, her saying that it was just like, be who you want to be. And like B A R B I E, be a Barbie girl. Yeah. But just fuck what everyone else thinks. And it's like her blowing up right now on YouTube. I think is a good thing because especially right now, where the big popular thing is vloggers who are just like filming their daily lives and yeah, fuck it's, you it's vloggers. Of young, cool, trendy teens. They're like all rich and they're they making money, money off of it's, YouTube. Yes. It's like shut the. F- so to door. me, Amelia Fart is what I think she is the seed that is being planted for the next phase. Of YouTube, where it's just like, oh, I be love yourself, that. whether it is in a weird character form, you're gonna name yourself something different, that's cool, but just like, be you. Don't worry about what people are gonna say, and just let loose. Be who you really wanna be on the internet, which I think is a big deal, because a lot of people, and that's not like, I know like there's a lot of drama with the, in the history of the internet, of people faking and catfishing, but it's just like, you're not faking, you're just being true to who you are. And I think Amelia Fart is a great representation, a great start to, that theme. That was, that was so beautiful. It's like my goal of every episode is to get crazy deep that Allison like pauses and doesn't know what to say. Wow. Like, like I feel it. Like I feel it when I watch her videos. But just to have you say it, just to have you explain it, is, by it no means loud. am I saying like you're gonna tune into her channel and be like, wow, I'm sad, and she's just being so like real. Like no, like she is fantastic. She is talented. Um, so good. I'm gonna leave. We're gonna leave a link down below. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching uh, or listening on SoundCloud, go to our YouTube. We'll have a link down below to Amelia Farts because she deserves it right now. She really you're gonna does. be weirded out. Like it is a really weird, trippy experience. But she's just like great, and you'll laugh. Like she wants you to laugh. She's yeah. Here, yeah. She's. Not, I'm not saying like go to her channel and be like, oh, I feel bad for laughing. This is the real her. No. Like that's what she wants. Like mm-hmm. it's. Uh. And again, like one of her. Um, 
idols is Trisha yes, Paytas. Yes, bringing that back. Who? <gasps> who is very? I feel like similar, although uh, she's not say, very. Totally, she's yeah. not very outward about being like. This is a character, or this is who I no, am. No, it's or Trisha like, Paytas. It's it, Trisha Paytas. She has her brand. I think there is a difference yes. of character and brand where she is very much like. I'm going to get liposuction and then just eat everything I want to gain all that weight back. Like, that yeah. is Trisha Paytas. Yep. And it's not her, but it's like, like she has the pink um, G-Wagon. Like, that's her car. That's mm-hmm. her iconic. Everything's pink. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of her videos, when other YouTubers go to her house, if you watch videos of her in her own house, literally the walls are covered in just pictures of her. Like, it's just like, that's Trisha Paytas. Mm-hmm. And I totally agree. Like, I didn't even think of that. Like, Trisha Paytas receives so much unfortunate backlash on the internet from other YouTubers, from just, like, other social media. But, like, also, I feel... they they Some of them feel like... And, again, I don't really know if it's, like, her or if it's a character, and I don't really mm-hmm. care, but, like, a lot of people on the hurt. internet still think that what you, like, portray, like, what mm-hmm. you say is who you are. And yeah. they, they don't, like... It's, it's, un, it's weird in a situation where it is, I think, yeah, like... Humans make mistakes, and it's they'll say something or they'll do something that is very like, and someone will go, "Wow, that's awful," or like, "Oh, that's bad," or like, "Oh, I don't like that." Right. But then that person is able to grow. Whereas I think the issue with the internet is it's like there is proof that you had that uh-huh. moment and people sit on it. It's uh-huh. like a constant reminder. So Trisha Paytas, she doesn't definitely has phases. She definitely oh, has. She has awful phases. She's got she's got a lot going on. But I uh, I love her. I love I you, love Trisha. Trisha, Trisha, we love you. We love you, Trisha. We know you're listening <laughs> <laughs> to all of the other Trisha. famous people that are tuning in. <laughs> Trisha loves Game of Thrones, so it's just like more points for Trisha Paytas. Right. But no, I totally think that. Which I even realized that talking about Amelia Fart being mm-hmm. so like just herself. Mm-hmm. Trisha Paytas is totally herself. Where it is very much like. She receives a ton of backlash. People make fun of her. People pick on her. But at the end of the day, she's not changing who she is. She's not changing her content. She's not changing her brand. She is who she is, and she's proud of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really admire people who do that. Which, it's hard. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. especially in this day and age, especially with social media, being so present. And I think it's like everyone has... Like, me personally, like, I am not afraid to admit that, like, I'm so nervous about posting... Anything like everything. I never post on Facebook, Instagram. If I'm posting a picture on Instagram, it must be like a big day because yeah. like I'm so self conscious. There's been so many times where I am ready to upload a picture to Instagram, but then I'm like, no one's gonna like it. People are gonna mm-hmm. look at me and be like, oh, look at how much weight he is holding, or just mm-hmm. like always oh, gained weight, always oh, lost weight. Like oh, it's just like just the making fear comments. of being judged. Yes. It's just like, yes. and they're not physically commenting, but it's like. We live in such a sick world where I'm nervous about, like, I know what people are thinking of me, and it's so unfair, and blah, blah, blah. I won't open that can of words on our podcast <laughs> about what people think of me yes, and my yes. self-conscious issues. But, yeah, it's just, like, Trisha Paytas and Amelia Fart, they're individuals that power through. Just, like, mm-hmm. yes, you can make fun of me, and, yes, it may make them sad. They definitely do have moments where they crack, but it's them, and they're showing their raw selves, and it's... And Beautiful. it's inspiring. It's great. It's fucking inspiring. Like, and Amelia, I love them. Amelia Fart, apparently, like, I was reading about her earlier today. I guess she's been around since, like, 2012. Like, she's been around a long time, right. apparently. But she's right. just now recently blowing up. Mm-hmm. Um, but whereas, like, and so I can't say for her, but, like, Trisha Paytas, the amount of backlash that poor girl has received. Like, she's been on, like, like I know the big thing was, like, she was on, like, Celebrity Big Brother UK. Right, right, yeah, and yeah. And she I literally that. barely lasted because just, like, the people in that house, the other celebrities bullied her. That it was just, like, so awful. And it's, like, someone in that situation, like, if I, back when I was making YouTube videos, if someone had made a, one comment being, like, wow, you're so fat or you're ugly or you suck... I'd be done. You would never I see mean, me I'm, ever again. I'm still like that. I'm oh, like, yeah. I barely go outside because I'm so terrified that people will talk to me. I don't know. I don't like that. It's not like people like come up to me and say like, uh, you're ugly. Right. Or fat. No, but, but I'm just still, like, people look at you on the street, look at me on the street and they're, and I'm just like, they hate me. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a bad issue. I live exactly. with Exactly. So like easily, but like they continue posting videos because they're like, you know what? It's, it's a weird, like, situation of where, yes, they are being bullied, but them pushing through it and showing it's not affecting them makes a bigger message. Or even, like, playing with it. Or not even, yeah. They're, like... Where they, right. they accept it. It's, like... Like, Trisha Paytas makes... A lot of her videos are her, like, laying on her... It's The joke is, if she's on her kitchen floor, it's dramatic. It's gonna be really sad, yeah. and it's, 
like she's going through a breakdown. And it's like easily if after that first video of her having a breakdown on her kitchen floor and everyone in the comments being like, oh, here we go. She could have easily never made a kitchen floor video ever again. But mm-hmm. she's like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, that's her thing. Yeah. She's going to have a breakdown. Yeah. She wants to show herself to the world. Screw anyone who has any negative thoughts towards her. Yeah. And to people who, like, make fun of it, it's like, I want to see you fucking do it. Right. Like, There's please. no Please way comment her on YouTube gonna saying, that. like, oh, wow, look at this loser. She's crying with a garbage bag over her head in her kitchen floor, whining about her ex-boyfriend. I'm like, I want to see you. How are you doing, mister, hiding behind your comments? It's like, everybody has those days. Everybody gets that way. Oh. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'm in a jam. Yeah, it's a bitch. <laughs> uh, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. But honestly, like, everybody has those days where they feel like fucking shit. But we, like, hide in our, like, little caves and we're like, I'm feeling sorry for myself. But these people just, like, put it on the internet and they get attention yeah. they make themselves vulnerable and i think that's what people are attracted to is like yeah sure you can make fun of it whatever fuck you guys but like we relate we do we so do. hard it's it's definitely i think yeah especially where youtube has always been not even the current phase like i keep talking about phases of youtube it's like youtube has always had the people that are living the glamorous lives mm-hmm. um but look at how the people living those glamorous lives are then they die. They don't die physically, but like their channels, <laughs> right, right. they drop or like mm-hmm. they just don't like, they're, they're in the moment. Mm-hmm. And it's the people like, look at Trisha Paytas who has been around YouTube forever. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, because she is just being herself, people follow it. People are into it because she's not just fitting the current like, ooh, she's the, mm-hmm. the current it girl. She's the current it YouTuber that like, I want to be obsessed with. Right. And that's why I think the people of... Amelia Fart and Trisha Paytas, it, as long as they continue being just themselves and being proud of who they are and who they represent, mm-hmm. they're going to be around for a long time. And I think that's a really great thing. Yes. Um, and and um, I feel like they also get criticized harsher uh, yeah. because they're women. Be- oh, because they're women. Ooh. Because also you can think uh, about Shane Dawson. Yeah. Remember how he like used to do those like insane <laughs> fucking characters? And he's like known to... like degrade himself like bash yeah. himself about he used to be uh, a little a little chunker yeah and he, which he is very proud and i mean not proud not <laughs> but like i wouldn't he, say proud but he's he's proud of himself he now that, yeah. yeah he's of where how far he's come where he used to weigh over like yeah 400 pounds in mm-hmm. high school and then when he graduated from high school yeah it was like flipped his life around and mm-hmm. yeah but totally it's the raw yeah totally though like shane dawson's been on youtube for I've been watching him since I was in eighth grade. And, and he kind of still... like does the same thing. He and does his like, thing. His content's evolved, but it's still him. And it's he's yes. discovered his voice and him becoming the real. He's a great wow. Like you bring him up, I'm like, oh. so Dawson. just on a final note, um, Shane Dawson is a perfect example, I think, of what we're talking about. We're being yourself, mm-hmm. and because he has evolved over time. Like I yes. started watching him in 2008, and he was heavily scripted content, and yes, it was still self-loathing, and he was very true for the most part, to himself at the time. Mm -hmm. Him now still being on YouTube in 2018, his videos now are, like, so good. Like, I watched his new video today. He releases, like, three videos a week now. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's just, like, watching his stuff on YouTube, I'm now like, wow. Like, this could be on TV. Like, a lot of the content is, like, it's... 25 minutes is a lot of his videos now. Really? But it's so good. And it has, like... Scripted? Like TV format. No. Oh. But it's, oh. It's unscripted, but it very much reminds me of, like, a catfish style, where it is not... It's not catfish. Oh, oh, style, oh, okay. Like, people call it, like, camera what? and the music right, and the right, right. themes. Right, and right. It's very cool. Um, but that's because, like, over time, I think he learned who he himself as a human being was. And I think that... Is a great representation of why his career on YouTube has succeeded. And mm-hmm. even himself, he's been very honest in a lot of recent videos where he talks about, you know, just like he, there were moments of his YouTube career where he was embarrassed or he just wasn't into it or wasn't sure what he was doing. But he like admitted it. He yeah. would always admit it. He would just say, hey, always guys, so real I with his fans. fucking hate myself. Also, I don't know what I'm doing. I yeah. love you. Uh, we're going to keep going. And his fans were like, we love you, too. We yeah. don't know what we're doing. We fucking hate ourselves. Yes. Uh, it's just shout out to the real YouTubers. Who the just, real YouTubers. Like I do love my vlog squad, but mm-hmm. just like, how long are you guys gonna be around? 
Please, not much longer. I doing... literally remember Logan Paul. Remember when he Ugh, filmed? Don't even uh, ring. Well, that I already up. did. Uh, Logan Paul uh, went to the. Uh, I really hate that I don't know the it's name of the Japanese forest. Japanese yeah. forest. People nickname it the suicide forest. Anyways, he filmed a person, a, a person who had um, taken their own life mm-hmm. in the forest. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's it. He filmed it, and he posted it, and it was awful. Anyways, uh, I making, hate them. But now he's making PSAs oh, showing how he learned a lesson right. how suicide should be taken seriously. And I'm like, yeah, you didn't think about that before you edited an entire video and put it on your YouTube channel with a dead body hanging in the background yeah, listen, of a human being? Thank you for uh, listening to this podcast, but if you were to take any one uh, lesson away from it is, uh, fuck you, Logan Paul. <laughs> uh, the end. Done. <laughs> Ding, we're done. Bye. <laughs> Have a good week, everyone. We'll see you next week. <laughs> oh, really? That was no, I'm kidding. That oh, was okay. Not the end. Oh, jeez. Um, they all left. But yes, Amelia Fart, her channel is down below. You know what? Trisha Payas' channel is down below. Why? Shane Dawson's channel is down below. Not Logan. Not I... that they need promo. <laughs> like none of them no, need promo. True. And not Logan Paul because fuck you, Logan Paul. Fuck Logan Paul. Fuck you, but not. Not really. Fuck you with something hard and it's sandpapery and on fire. Yes. Okay, I'm done. Um, but no, so then, yeah, that was. Um, that was that was our right? pod. I mean, that was our, our podcast. Yeah, what? Great. What the, our first we podcast. Our first episode. I mean, we didn't introduce ourselves until 30 minutes in. But I'm Allison. Um, and I'm Edward. And we love you. We and love you all. Uh, but before we go, oh. we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good about this. What were your thoughts? On shows that have run too long. What were your thoughts on YouTubers being real? Oh, you know Amelia Fart? I thought you were Do asking you love me. Amelia Fart? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and like what? Opening, were you asking everything that I was just asked? I was like, let us know. Is? Reach out to us on Twitter. Uh, we have a Facebook page now. Please feel free to post all you want on the Facebook. Um, hopefully good things. <laughs> hopefully not awful scary no, things. No, I want you to trash us, please. Real I want you to break though. our spirits. Um, yeah. No, it's we have myself. a Twitter. We just made a Twitter, um, which is going to be a slightly more unfiltered, unprofessional. I'm definitely it's, just going to post shit memes. It's a lot of gifts and memes is probably what it's going to turn into. Whereas our yeah. Facebook's mostly just going to be, hi, here's our most recent episode. Hello, I'm here. Hi. We're here. Hi. Um... Yeah. Um, so please, if you guys do um, enjoy this podcast, even though this is our first, second um, episode, um, yeah, please follow us on those pages. Like, share it with your friends. Um, Tell us how so great we are. More people like us and you can find us um, and tune in. Um, if there's anything you guys really want us to consume media-wise and you want us to talk about, you want to hear our thoughts on it, please also let us know because, you know... I need you know. more I need more things <laughs> to shove down my throat. Uh, feed us the media. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I was, just my, I was supposed to go, you're all super duper awesome. I'm like, oh, oh shut you your mouth. <laughs> Bye, bitches. <laughs> thank you guys for this wonderful session. Okay, Jesus. We'll it see was, you next time. It's just me. With another jerk session. Okay. Bye. All right. We're done. Bye. All right, we're done. We're done. Over. Podcast. Bye.